hi, it's Laura. Welcome to today's video. We have had our lease horse Sabrina for two full months now, almost three, and I thought it was time to make this little video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how much money we paid when we leased our horse, how much it costs us every month, and even how much it cost us to manage her colic episode that she got three weeks after we got her. If you've been following our family journey to getting our very first horse, you know that we took forever to decide on our lease horse. We contemplated back and forth between buying, our ho buying a horse or leasing, and in the end we decided to lease first and then buy after we had a little bit of experience. With the help of our instructor, um, we have taken on a lease horse, Sabrina, and she's been amazing in every single way. She is a warm blood. She's a Westphalian thoroughbred cross. She's 15.3 hens high. She is the love of my life right now, and my kids are in love with her. My husband is in love with her. Our entire family is in love with her. She's just been an amazing horse. You are probably wondering why we decided to go with a lease instead of just going right out and buying a horse, and the reason is before we got Sabrina, people kept telling us, you better not buy a horse. Don't buy a horse. They cost way too much money. You have no idea how much money a horse is going to cost, and to be honest, we did not know how much a horse is going to cost, and I started to get nervous and Sam started to get nervous. Maybe all the people telling us that knew something that we didn't know because we'd never bought a horse before. When we first decided to buy a horse, we knew that we wanted a, um, a child safe horse, a lesson horse, a been there, done that kind of horse. We looked around, we talked with other people in our area and it was decided that $3,000 to buy a horse like that would be probably what we would need to pay. So we set our budget at $3,000 and we cost, and we optimistically went out looking to get a horse. Little did we know that beginner safe horses were really hard to find. Um, we searched and searched and a lot of our subscribers also searched with us. We got messages every single day, people sending us horses for sale that might be good for us. Subscribers tagged us in Facebook posts and that's actually how we ended up finding our horse. Somebody tagged us in a Facebook post for a horse and I answered it. Our initial budget was $3,000 to buy a horse but what ended up happening was that we decided to go for a lease. So our lease horse was only $500. So when I started looking at leases, I started to think, wow, some of these were $9,000, um, $10,000, $12,000, and I, and I was thinking, wow, $9,000 to lease a horse every single month? That is insane. And it turned out that I was wrong, and when people list, in our area, when people list the price of a lease, it's all together for the whole year. So our lease price for Sabrina was $500 and we were thinking, wow, that is so good. To board her at our barn, it costs $400 a month. And what that means is that we take our horse to our barn and they take care of her. We go and we do whatever we want with her. We spend time with her, we ride her, we have lessons on her, we can give her treats. Any of that kind of stuff is what we do with her. But our $400 gets her all the hay that they feed, the grain that they feed. Also, they put her in at night, they, t they manage her blankets if she needs to change her blanket. They, they essentially do all the care for Sabrina and they do all the feeding. We do give Sabrina a supplement and um, that's something that we pay for. So her board is $400 and her supplement is $140 for a little tiny bag and that is every month. Every month we buy a supplement like that. Another big cost that we incur having Sabrina are our lessons. So the girls and I all take lessons. That's three of us. Three of us take a lesson every single week. We take one lesson, each of us, and each lesson is $35. So it costs $420 a month for us to take lessons at our barn. Soon after Sabrina came to us, she ended up getting colic. We tried her out for two weeks before we decided if we were gonna keep her, and very shortly after we decided we were gonna keep her, she got colic. The weather changed, and she stopped drinking for a very short time, and that 
um, led to a small bowel impaction and we had to get the vet out. At the time, it was super scary. My husband and I were really nervous and freaking out and we rushed to the barn and we met the vet there. It was incredible how fast our instructor had the vet come out and check on Sabrina. Our vet was there for about three hours. He did a huge full treatment. He gave her fluids. He um, gave her medicine. We got to stay, we got to help, we got to experience all of it. It was a huge lesson in dealing with colic and and learning about what the first signs of colic were and um, even though it was a nightmare situation for us I'm extremely grateful for all the information I learned and Sam and I were thinking oh my gosh three weeks in and she already has colic we have the vet out how much is that gonna be it's gonna be so much money um, I was thinking that all the people who warned us not to get a horse this is what they're talking about this fee from the vet is gonna be what's gonna do us in Sabrina was sick for about four days the vet did not need to come back out she was just mildly colicky she wasn't extremely colicky could have gone from zero to a hundred really quickly but with the fast act of our coach and the good care of our vet um, it didn't ever really amount to anything she did end up losing a little bit of weight because he took her off food um, while we got her system straightened out but all of that cost us three hundred and seven dollars all of it the whole entire thing cost three hundred and seven dollars following her bout of colic there were a few things that we needed to buy to increase the likelihood that she was going to get better we ended up giving her some electrolytes and they cost 25 dollars we also got her what was the other thing that we got her we also got her some other thing and i cannot even remember what it is and it annoys me electrolytes and something else oh, i can't remember but it was 27 dollars at our barn we also pay for worming every three months and we also pay for her for the farrier um, every six weeks or so so the worming every three months is $25 and the farrier is $35 every six weeks so in almost three months that's what we paid to have Serena to have a horse it was totally manageable before we got Sabrina, we set our budget for having a horse at $2,000 a month. So far we have been able to stay within our budget. Getting a horse seemed so much more scary to us than it actually has been. Even with um, the colic scare and having a vet come out, it was totally manageable. Where the price of having a horse really starts to skyrocket for us is buying all the stuff. Basically, you can spend as much money as you want and still not have enough horse stuff. We got Sabrina on November the 2nd. Because it was so close to Christmas, we were hoping that Santa would bring a lot of stuff that we wanted to buy for Sabrina. She also came with a lot of stuff like a saddle and her reins and stirrups and stuff like that that we didn't have to buy straight out. Um, oftentimes when you're first starting out with a horse, you would have that initial startup cost we did end up buying her a halter that was $25 and a lead rope that was $10 and we have so many things on our list our list of things we want to buy are this big but we opted to go slow and to stay within our budget and to just accumulate things naturally as we need them and of course um, Santa we're hoping that Santa will bring us some stuff as well now that we have had a horse for almost three months we love it we love every single part of it i wanted to make this video for any of you guys who are on the fence who want a horse who are nervous about the price nervous about how much it's going to cost you nervous about if you can afford it because when we were looking around to figure out how much it costs to buy a horse there was very little out there in our area specifically to tell us um, how much all of these things were gonna cost us. I'm sure that I'm leaving out a lot of things that are gonna come up in the future that are gonna cost us more money as well, but um, so far I've been pleasantly surprised by how um, manageable having a horse really is. If you have any other ideas for other videos like this one, please leave them in the comments below because I would love to make more sit down videos for you guys. I really enjoy them, I like making them, and hopefully you guys like watching them. I'll see you all again in our in my next sit down video. See you later. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.